Now the question here is identify the necrosis shown in given biopsy image of 63 year old patient and here if you just see uh, it is a cross section of the kidney okay so basically you have to identify the organ and you will be reaching to a diagnosis because uh, the organs are specific to the type of necrosis so generally they give either brain or kidney and you have to identify the type of necrosis so basically by having the knowledge of which organ is affected by which particular necrosis you can reach to the conclusion as well so here kidney is there and we can see there is a wedge shaped area and this particular area is your necrosis so uh, before we get into detail of this particular question uh, let me uh, give you the important types which are asked in this question as well so basically the types of necrosis if we just discuss about the types of necrosis we have many types we'll be discussing four here so first one is your coagulative then you have your liquefactive then you have your caches and then the one which is asked is fat necrosis so we'll be discussing the important point of these necrosis so first of all coagulative ne necrosis it is the most common type of the necrosis so first point we have to remember it is the most common type of the necrosis and in this what is generally done there is loss of intracellular material that means loss of nuclei we can say loss of nuclei can be seen here but the outline of the cell is preserved outline of cell is preserved and that particular thing is known as the tombstone appearance tombstone appearance the other important thing uh, it is of course associated with ischemia mostly it is caused by ischemia and it is seen in the organs like heart liver kidney etc so it will be seen in heart liver kidney now if you just see this particular thing you will be able to identify that kidney is here and the cross section of the kidney is there so most probably the necrosis which is given in this question should be coagulative let's see the other parts first then there is liquefactive so basically what happens whenever there is necrosis it later gets destructed by enzymes okay so when enzymes destruct the cell we can say enzymatic destruction is there and they will making a abscess like thing so abscess formation will be there and since abscess uh, formation is there that particular uh, thing is known as the liquefactive necrosis or we can call it as enzymatic necrosis as well so sometime in exam if they just ask enzymatic necrosis then also it will be liquefactive necrosis and this is most commonly seen in which organ brain very important and so they will be giving you a cross section of brain and you will be asked the type of necrosis so you will be uh, without any hesitation you can go for the liquefactive necrosis then you can see the pancreatitis also okay so these are the thing and whenever abscess word is mentioned somewhere you will be just thinking about the liquefactive necrosis because what is abscess abscess is a cavity that is having fluid so fluid filled cavity and you can uh, guess from here since the enzymatic destruction is changing the cells into liquid so that is going to be your abscess only okay then we have caseous necrosis again very important kind of necrosis and this is basically a combination of coagulative necrosis and the liquefactive necrosis okay what do we understand from this basically it is a semi solid kind of thing in which you will be able to uh, have a solid as well as a liquid and that's why it will be having a cheese like appearance very important cheese like appearance and most important thing about this necrosis that this is seen in which condition it is seen in tuberculosis okay again very important then we'll come back to the fat necrosis uh, if we just see about the fat necrosis here so you will be able to identify that this is due to the action of the enzymes now which enzymes are going to uh, digest the fat 
yes lipases okay so the action of lipases is there and they will be uh, generally uh, going to digest the fatty tissue of course and where do you see that fatty tissue that is most prom prominently seen in the breast omentum and even the pancreatitis so basically breast omentum even in the fractured uh, areas also you can see this type of uh, fat necrosis okay and pancreatitis can also be here also okay so these are the various important types of necrosis and then examples and their particular features which can help you to identify the necrosis now here why this uh, wedge shaped appearance is there and why this morphological appearance is there that can be a conceptual question where you have to just answer that it is due to the intracellular protein degradation so whenever intracellular proteins get denatured get degraded and certain enzymes starts digesting the cells from inside that particular cell death is known as your necrosis right so here and that is the reason for morphological uh, this thing as well okay so i'll just show you the histological of, uh, of course you have seen the gross appearance now if you just see here in the histological aspect also if you just try to understand that here you will see there are nothing no nuclei are evident here in these and you will be able to identify the outline of these cells so there will be outline of the cells and inside you won't be seeing any nucleus and that particular uh, appearance is known as tomb stone appearance and this particular appearance is associated with coagulative necrosis so if they give you the histological section as well you have to just identify the tomb stone appearance and you will be able to identify that it is a Co coagulative necrosis so if we just uh, go through the explanation coagulative necrosis it is of course a form of necrosis in which the architecture of dead tissue is preserved okay that means you will be seeing the tombstones okay and the injury basically occurs from the uh, proteolysis okay basically from the degradation of the structural proteins okay although enzymes can also perform some proteolysis of the dead cells of course right ultimately the necrotic cells are removed by phagocytosis of the cellular debris and that infiltrates the immunological cells like leukocytes and they will be doing the digestion of dead cells by the action of lysosomal enzymes of the uh, leukocytes or your neutrophils okay so this is something uh, which you have to just understand but while uh, dealing with the image based question which are very frequent in the exams like aims as well as your neat you have to understand that you should know which particular organ is going to have which kind of necrosis so most of your uh, problem will be solved by identifying the organ only and you will be able to answer that correctly